Hello, today's tutorial is going to go over how Real Geeks website users can generate their own leads online for free with using an agent affiliate ID number for individual agent users that are sharing a Real Geeks hosted website. What this means is you can drive leads to your agent ID number. Those leads go to you directly. They bypass the default site lead allocation rules. So perhaps everything goes to one person, maybe a lead coordinator or an ISA, and that person may not realize that this is a personal friend of yours, someone in your circle of influence or a past client. So if you, as an individual agent user, wish to create leads that bypass those rules and go straight to you, this is how to do that. First of all, a couple of use scenarios. Really, they're endless, but they fall in three main categories. The first one is what we will cover in this first video, and the second and third ones will cover the other ones. This first one we're covering today is a specific page to a specific listing. Now, per most MLS and Code of Ethics rules, you should seek the permission of the listing brokerage or office if it is not at your listing at your office. So, Probably this should be contained to just your personal listings, your team, and or your individual office. Otherwise, check with your broker. Don't want you to get into trouble. Second usage, we'll go over this in the second video, is how to drive individual leads to your property valuation page, if you have that service turned on. That's an add-on. And then really the third one is an endless amount of different types of searches. It could be by subdivision, homes with pools, just condos, homes over a certain price point. <clears throat> you could even draw a map, uh, a polygon map, and to any kind of specificity, just those search results and also drive leads in the same fashion. But today what we're going to go over is just the first one, which is a property page for a specific listing. So the URL that you'll want to use is as follows. In this example, everything in red, of course, you would replace with your own information. So www. your domain name, whatever that may be, search for homes in this city, something like that, slash property, slash, this is the MLS number that comes from your MLS, slash question mark, view, ampersand, or the and sign, agent underscore ID equals, and then your individual five-digit user ID. That's what we're going to cover today is how to do that. The example we're going to use will take us to this specific URL you see below on my website. So here's our home page, realtyonegroupgold.com. We have a listing that we'd like to drive people to. This is a company listing. The MLS number, probably you already know it or can find it, but for our purposes it's right here. So I'm going to copy that number. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with our domain name, slash property, slash 1701-3908, slash question mark, view, ampersand, or and, agent underscore ID equals, mine is 10560. Now watch carefully what happens when I hit enter the ID number will be used and then it will direct me back to this specific page. In fact, what I will do is I'm going to copy the entire URL. We will move it over here. And once I input this, looks, look what happens. It takes me to that page. It then removes the very end part and it takes me to this specific page. But what has now happened just now, if the user has typed in that URL, and then that agent ID installs a cookie on that visitor's computer, meaning that if and when they do register, they will be assigned to your user account. So really the big question then is, how do I find my user ID or agent ID? You probably need to check with your admin, but here's how your administrative user on the account can find your five-digit code. You'll notice I'm logged into leads.realgeeks.com. 
I've clicked on the Users tab, and then onto my specific user page. And what I find up here is a five-digit code. This five-digit code is my agent ID. So now you know how to find the agent ID. That's a number you're going to want to write down because in all of the uses for an agent ID, this is the same one you'll use. You'll want to find your own. Then you can, again, build with your domain name slash property slash the MLS number. I'll do it one more time for a review. Question mark, view, ampersand, agent underscore ID equals, and then your user code that you found. And what happens is people land there, the cookies installed, and if and when they register, and you can test this if you wish, but guaranteed they will go straight to you. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you want, you can move to the next video uh, that shows use case number two and number three, which cover property valuation page and also uh, some examples of different search criteria you can use. Hope this helps. Have a great day.